in, in a scale from from because I've been hearing a lot that Epic, Epic Gabriel is could be the best uh, Rob, and then I guess Wadi. What, what, what would, in your opinion, where mm. would you position Epic Man? Oh, man, it's hard because like I, Rob is the character I like. It's hard. It, it is is definitely one of the characters I low key sleep on. Like I, I just don't. I, I'm not a fan. I, I'm not yeah. a fan. I, not I, it's funny. Ape Man. Ape Man is actually the only player that I actually watch as a Rob main, and that was before MSM. Well, that see. was like I that see. was like from watching like tournaments in Florida. I would I consider. See. I would still put Ape Man within top five best Robs in the world easily. There's other players like Benny and the Jets, yeah, who's also cool. out there. Uh, of course, Ven. Uh, I think arguably, arguably, ah, I for. It's the there's a Rob in Mexico and I can it's I'm mad that his name uh, is escaping he, me. Yeah, he's uh it's Ez easy basically. Yeah, yeah easy. Juana, actually, yeah. Easy, easy yeah, is the Rob he name. Pronounced it Ezeta. Oh, Ezeta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got corrected on that because I, is... I was calling him easy and it's not it. He, and I know there's like, and he's the one that like I also can tell people like he's also a very good Rob. Oh, that's an excellent combo here. I, I think this is what. Makes me always tell people Ape Man is like a top eight, a top five Rob, no less than top five. At best, probably top three, maybe even top two. The thing about it, it's it's all about not only performance, it's not about creativity because I think that's the one thing I love about yeah. Ape Man. His creativity with the character is really out there, yes. um, but his it's it's all about performance to your consistency, and that can be really difficult sometimes. I think one of the things about like to go back on last match. The one thing about what makes Mega Man so hard is he has to do so much in order to win. That was really good on Vet yes. to capitalize on that recovery. But yeah, Mega Man has to do so much in order to win. If your character has to exhaust you to win, by default, versus a character like Joker, who has to do very little to win, just two yeah, arcs and yeah. back airs, your character sucks. <laughs> That, that's just how it works. <laughs> Why are you gonna do him like that, Dez? <laughs> what are you gonna do jo Joker man's like that, man? It's true. <laughs> it's, it's Joker, true. Joker good. Like two two are sent back airs and that makes the character good. But Mega Man has to do like literally you have to break your fingers, borderline play melee to yeah. be good with the character. And it's like that's not a practical situation in the game like Ultimate. Uh, I, and exactly. I could, and that could go on, but that's the one thing I like about seeing Ape Man is like he is the definition of okay, I am that player who does a lot with the character. I am that player who knows these little intricate combos with Gyro. And that works out really well. We see it in players like Ape Man, but we also see it in players like Charlie. If I were to say anything about Ape Man to close out this tangent, in my words, and take this take this as you want, Ape Man is the Charlie of Rob Mains. Charlie is the combo king, the little intricate combos of all the wolves, and Ape Man is that for Rob, to, to at least to me. I see, that would make sense. And not only that, he's he's not only creative, he's actually really good at taking, uh, non, what's the word? Um, converting, like basically, no matter what he tries to do, he gets it done. And in this match, we've seen that. The placement of his gyros, the conditioning, all of the aggression that he's putting out, it's very effective, but he's facing another unstoppable force in Ven with his Zelda. We know that Zelda might not be the best, maybe she's good, like, like better online but the way that she has to work for her combos is very hard because she has to rely a lot on her phantom she has to be like very precise when it comes to those back airs and the pressure that she puts out however she does have this she does have this in, in uh, fast move and basically get off me option which is Nehru's love it's really good but it can be punished if you're not careful and Ben is being nothing but careful in this match in this game number one it's been amazing to watch we got a little derailed for sure but yeah. the way that they're playing is insanely accurate and <laughs> oh, I cannot oh, wait to see the rest oh, of this set oh, I felt that one I really felt that <laughs> it's one insane. really strong Zelda is broken yeah at least in the right hands yeah, and, and I, I mean, Zelda is like that is very much a case of like, yeah, man, I actually carry Zelda. <laughs> like, no one can tell me, no, no one can tell, no one can tell me any different. Yeah, he, he definitely carries that character. But also, like, Rob has such a huge hurt box that him flying in the air was not a good call. But also, Ven had earned that. Like, he forced Ape Man to consider that high recovery rather than a normal get up or a low one because the way how he had put out Din's fire, he put out Night, all that stuff. I think, I think Ven even summarized kind of what I talked about. 
Mega Man earlier really, really well. Yeah. Zelda, Zelda's a character sucks. Like, this character has mm -hmm. to do so much to win. And in reality, that's not good. That's... It, it, I actually tell people the funny thing about... If your character does less to win, your character is objectively better. That's facts. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah it, I have to agree. In, in my opinion, like, you, it's, it's like... There's a, there's a funny clip if you've ever seen, like, have you ever seen Indiana Jones? Like, um, oh, yes, yes. You, yeah. you know that, that, that specific part where, like, he pulls out the sword, he's spinning the sword, he's, like, you know, just, it's all flashy oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. cool, and then he pulls <laughs> he out just... the... <laughs> that is the very definition of what you want to be as a character. You just want to be able to pull right. the trigger and win. You don't want to have to Ow, spin the yeah. sword in front of your opponent. You know, that's well, the difference. Some like it. Some, some love it, yeah, actually. Some, some, some love the it. flair. And, and when they get to execute it perfectly, it's it's amazing, man. Yeah. You love to see when a, when a competitor does this, even with a, arguably, with a low-tier character or with bad resources, depending on the, the tools that a character has. I would like to argue that Zelda is basically as if you were playing chess. You have to keep in mind the positioning, the way that you use your tools, the way that you place your phantom, the way that you use your near your your dense fire every single move has to be perfectly executed and orchestrated in order for it to like basically pay off even though that nearest level was right and very well placed and timed it still went through that back here and that took the stock ab man doing a phenomenal job of punishing and van still keeping the aggression even though he is right now at a bit of a deficit yeah, yo man, if Ben's good at playing chess and playing Zelda, I would tell this man to play consider career in StarCraft. <laughs> oh, but that was a really strong up smash here. And unfortunately for Ape, not able to get that on the get up here. Ven able to just time a little bit better here to get up on the ledge. Uh, Ven good with the anti air. We saw how good Ven is just able to anti air Ape Man from how he won the first yeah. game. So we'll see how much he can execute on this one. Ape Man is kind of one of those players that rarely. Ooh, that was good DI. Ape Man is one of those players who rarely lets the same mistake happen to him twice. If it happens, it's because he's lost his composure. But that's an up smash, and that's a good change up from Ben. Because this time, he doesn't commit to something like an up tilt. He commits to something that lasts a little bit longer, which is going to be that up smash. It's able to beat out the, pretty much the invincibility frames of that role. Yeah, definitely. And this is something that both of them are no strangers to. Both of them opting for this, uh, trying to catch a roll with up smash. Insanely strong moves in both of these characters. Both Rob with an extended hitbox. It has such a wide spread on that up smash. And Zelda, instead of having that, it does linger for quite some time. So it's definitely a good trade-off and a good change of pace from Ben because he was relying more of an edge guard instead of opting this time for a ledge trap, which Zelda specialized is on and it's very very deadly yeah i feel like that dense fire we saw from them might have been a missed input or just a slow read there uh, just because the positioning where ape man was he's like it's a free grab for him and i'm pretty sure ven did not want to give him what a good way to come back with robo arms because you still get that reflector but if Ven happens to be close which he was that'll also hit zelda and effectively remove knight and if it doesn't then at least you don't have to worry about getting hit by knight at the ledge uh for ape man though at this point in the game here at last stock last hit scenario or last combo the objective is to just stop Zelda at all costs to come back towards center stage. And you can just tell Ape Man was working yeah. on that. Sadly, he dropped it. <laughs> and you can tell how much Ven closer is to victory now. Yeah, but he was fishing for it. All Every single attack was trying to catch Ven in one way or another. And right now, he does have a lead in the sense that he has to recover. And with no jumps, it's going to become increasingly harder. However, Farore's wind allowing him to recover just in time. But the percentage is not looking pretty bad. So if he gets one right read, he might be able to take the stock. However, the percentages are getting increasingly closer to the kill percent. So whoever gets the right read gets the stock in this game number two yeah oh i was gonna say that was really close for ape man ah oh. <laughs> nice no i was gonna save you from that even though earlier it did work farore's win doing its job one more time beautifully executed from van there perfect spacing perfect damage great calculation to get the stock in game number one no game number two damn yeah i would i would say like Going back on how you say Ven plays chess with Zelda, he's definitely a tactician. Yep. He's one I of those. You. Yeah, he's such a master at it. And, and Ape Man is very much. Uh, I feel like he is a barrier breaker. Like he looks yes. to see that defense or that you may try to have and then break through it with his own projectiles 
or even if he doesn't break through it, he'll set up his own defense, which is, I think, the scary, which is arguably my favorite part about watching Ape Man, is when he does have things like gyro and everything else placed out together. I actually would argue for Ape Man, this would have been a good call to actually swap to Diddy, because he, he's, he has a Diddy, and I've seen him probably take a game off Diddy with Ven. Uh, the only difference is that Ven does have some practice against Diddy, because Dakpo from Texas has moved to Vegas, so it is one of those things of like, cool, do I, there is another matchup that Ben knows. Do I want to give him that? Or am I going to go ahead and stick to my guns and stick to one of the best characters I have in my toolkit, which is Rob? No, I definitely agree with you in the sense that uh, a bit man is, it's, it's basically poking at you at all times, trying to create cracks in your defense, crack in the wall. And when he finally finds that sweet spot, the weak spot of the wall, he takes advantage of that, capitalizes and destroys the wall, basically. It's it's really hard to deal with the, the kind of aggression that he puts out. And if you're not careful, you're gonna pay the price just like Ven right now with this lead that he's basically having to force in order to try to, come, to bring back. But baby man is not willing to stop at this time. Yeah, this time he's gonna stock lead, which is what he wants to hold as much as possible. Ah, oh, man, dude, seeing Fowler's win, just how good it is. I argue to anybody, like, it's arguably one of the best, like, teleports in the game. Just because it has a hitbox at the startup, and it has a hitbox at the end. Like, no other teleport in this game really has that. Not even, like, not even, like having that in general is just really, really good. If every other character had that in this game, if Palutena had that, that'd be crazy. But Palutena doesn't have it. It's, 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 yeah, oh, it should be broken. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that it's not a character that's so bad that Zelda it just makes it crazy. It's like the one thing oh, she yeah. really needs. Exactly, and, and you love to see it. Right now, Eben not popping off, dash dancing left and right, knowing that he has a very sizable lead. Ven needs to keep composure. I don't know if that was trying, it was AP Man trying to get into Ven's head even further, but let's be real, he doesn't need it right now because the percentage lead is right there and it's showing. However, Zelda does have explosive damage at all times. Vin's fire, Faroris win, maybe even a back air. They're really good at taking stocks, and if the percentage keeps piling up he might be able to he was going again for the farore trying to connect it's so flashy you love to see when it connects like that but instead gets the up tilt to up air beautiful confirmed from ben taking the stock but 90 percent could be a little bit too high of a of a risk there in try, to try to bring it back yeah all right well Abraham lining on that platform able to finally look hold the stage here and this is the first lead we've kind of seen him have all set. That's going to be... I'm... Okay. <laughs> I was scared. <laughs> it, it can happen. I've seen it. Like, a, a, like that's just how ultimate works sometimes. Like, Ape Man can perform with execution. But there'll be the like, smallest window of opening for, like, Ven. And then he'll be able to just escape that setup. I thought he was going to go for an up throw. But I think Ape Man setting up for the down throw up air was much... Effectively better. Just because that's... Chances are that's what your opponent is going to be DIing. Or mashing. Yeah, or, or <laughs> yeah. mashing, yeah. So you basically, it, it's a good flow chart to keep in mind. And a lot of Rob mains tend to go for it for, because even if they miss the down air, I'm sorry, the up air, they could still try to, to frame trap their opponent. In a lot of cases, of course, I would argue that Zelda is one of those cases in which her aerial mobility and, and, and land mobility basically is not great. So it's easy to frame trap, even if the mash is way too successful or if it manages to connect i think it's a good uh a good decision from 8-bit man knowing that there was no way out and then still needs one more game but 8-bit man slowly getting the hang of the uh the matchup and and i don't know i'm not talking exclusively about the characters also about the competitor matchup he seems to be uh understanding the shortcomings of his opponent let's see if he can bring it even further to give us a game five the funny thing about matchups as a whole in any fighting game whatsoever, after the matchup is considered between two characters, it starts to become a matchup of the players. Yes, the matchup yes. can be like a 6-4 matchup in your character's favor, but it can become a 7-3 matchup in the player favor. And that that's where things really, really change. That's what changes the dynamic of a game. It's just the matchup between two players. And I think that's what you've said that works well for Ape and Man, is he's finally, he knows the Zelda matchup. That, that can be one yeah. thing but it's the Ven matchup that he's finally learning. 
Definitely, and it's showing because right now he has a really good lead and the pressure keeps piling up at all times. However, gets contested with that beautiful forward air, aiming right at the head and getting it. The Phantom doing its work, not being unable to take the stock, trying one more time, unable to concrete the kill, but finally catching that roll with that pressure. He just walked up to him and said, up smash, up you go into the skies, up to the heavens above. Yeah, and Ape Man looking to recover here. Sets up that down air. No opportunity to catch Ven after the platform. Watch yourself. I was going to say, cool, that's double up tilt in there. I thought Ven was going to set up for back air, just trying to see how if Ape Man was going to panic directional air dodge from that. But good for Ape Man. He's no slouch, man. He knows. Uh, no, no panicking here. I got to make sure I am composed at all times. I think that's the only thing that stops Ape Man at times is like when he does lose his cool, you can kind of tell in his gameplay a little bit. But so far, I think Ape Man is definitely keeping his me mental strength and fortitude really, really high because he has not faltered to Ven just yet. Yeah, it's working out for him. However, Ven is, is really getting in his head. I've noticed this in a sense that he just basically he just walked earlier and forced a roll situation, which allowed him to catch him. It's it's definitely a back and forth between this these competitors, how they are understanding the the aggression patterns of their opponents and implementing all of these information on our knowledge into the play style and you can see how even everything is so far even though the percentage is really not the same uh, at least exactly it's still very close because both of them are kill percent and with that Farore's win once again then taking another stock and he's one stock away from winning the set yeah, Ven here, 147. I mean, so yeah, he's one stock away from winning the set, and Ape Man is two stocks. Uh, it all depends if Ape Man can actually get the stock off of Ven. 155, I mean, that's going to be a down... Th okay, I like that. Power Driver. And the reason why you go for that, too, is you got the platform extension just in wow. case, which is really big. Oh, that's such a good coverage, because you Z-drop that to cover your opponent trying to get back on the stage, and then you can Nair, which is what Ape Man was looking to set, either Nair or back air after that one. So you have to give Ape Man that credit there. He had the setup in mind. It's all about just these like slight mis miscalculation of how Ven was going to go from there. I'm just noticing that all of the percentage in this stock, in this potential last stock, has been done with Nero's love. It's incredible the way that Ben has been recognizing how, well, not desperate, but aggressive or, or damage hungry 8-bit man is getting and he's falling for all of these Nero's love. Every single reflection, every single time he's at close range, he gets to suck up one of these reflective um, counters, basically. It's very hard to deal because it's also very very fast venice one confirmed one confirmed head away from winning this set and eggman man against the ropes he needs to be very patient otherwise the game is gone yeah and that's what you oh no 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 <laughs> just like that perfectly <laughs> perfectly positioned forward here from zelda it's definitely going to take the stock no matter how heavy you are it's just so intense intensely strong it's it's, it's 